I, we've got a nice little idea to make a picture shelf and I've got some uh, piece of wood from the local yard and I'm going to divide by three times and then uh, I'm going to run us through the table saw. So here we go. So I've just cut uh, our bits. I've got three of them now here. I've set up the table saw on the angle. I think the angle is about seven degree and now I'm about to cut. So here we go. Uh. So that's it. That's about the seven degree angle. So I think we are ready to go. And I'm going to finish cutting them. And then uh, I see you soon. We're going to be painting them. We're going to be staining them. Sorry. Cheers. Hi, I'm uh, back again. So we've got those three bits cut uh, and we are ready to roll. So what we're going to do, I've got some white in here. So instead of actually painting it, what we try to do, we try to actually distress the wood. So to make it a little bit white-ish, but you want to still see the grain come through. So we will say oh, it's going to work with stop roll. Very important. You've got to have that. So let's saturate the sponge again. Not too much because this time I'm not going to actually roll the bits. Well, what I'm going to do is lock it straight away and literally just drag it. Wow, that actually works really well. Look at this. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you will be able to see the difference. But I think you should. Well, here it is, the white and the, and the grain. So I think with the second coat, it will be amazing. The advantage of that actually is as well that when you do like that the wood dries immediately so you can do two coats pretty much one after another so there is no problem with you know drying time or anything like that so i'm going to do that one quickly and that will be the first coat will be almost ready you see no runs nothing at all you don't need a brush but you don't need the roll it's not going to be as heavy as you would have done with rollers so now you slowly you can see the difference so it is you still see the grain but the white comes through so wipe off the bits and pieces i don't want to do that but i will have to i'm going to grab wet side and then do it again the good thing is there is no danger with too many drips or drops or anything really because it's a it's such a light application that it won't affect your wood but pretty much it's dry now so even you can see now when i lift it and i touched it you hardly see finger marks they are somewhere there but barely you can see it because it's such a light uh, application i'm going to do it again because i think that's pretty much ready to go again so lock it i've applied some extra paint i'm going to lock it and just finish it off really the second coat so that now you can see so obviously that's one two And the good thing is, using stop roll, you can use any paint. It doesn't have to be specialist paint to actually distress or, or color the wood. Stain the wood, I should say. Because really, this is actually such a light application and gentle that uh, you could use any paint for, for on any, any wood, really. So this is it very lightly if you really want you can do another coat if, if that's what you're happy with then that's fine so we're going to do three of them and maybe we'll do another coat uh, later Look at that finish, uh, Stop Roll really helped us with that project and we've got plenty more to come and we're going to show you what Stop Roll really can do and hopefully you will be able to use it 
in your projects or help others and just follow us and you will see. Thank you very much.